Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the heap sort algorithm and well, it's a sorting algorithm uh, which uses the heap data structure. Now, uh, for this, we're going to be doing the max hippify algorithm. Uh, uh, and with the max hippify algorithm, you can sort it uh, into uh, ascending or descending order depending upon how you arrange it in the array you use. Now, let's talk about the tree data structure. We know that in a tree data structure, this is index 1, this is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this indicates the position of this number, of this element of the node inside the array, how we would put them in an array. That means 9 would belong here, two would, uh, 12 would belong uh, in this second box, 3 would belong. I mean, we're ignoring the zeroth uh, index number in this case because we're, you, we're dealing with algorithms. And whenever we deal with algorithms, we always use the number. We always start from index 1. So just for, you know, just for, uh, say, I mean, while you're writing the code in Java or C plus or whatever, you can, what you can do is you can just, you know, like uh, that, whatever, whatever you do, the code will be the same, except that you start from zero and then the less than or less than equal sign would vary in your code. That's it. But uh, for just for explaining, explanation, sake of explanation, we're just going to be numbering this from one to the last index number. Anyway, so the position of this would be would correspond to the index number that's here, and uh, well, the first thing that we would know we need to know about max cpify is that in the max cpify the parent is always the greatest, and the, the left and right children can be any number, but what matters is that the parent is uh, has to be greater. Now this tree is definitely not in uh, ordered form, so let's first let's uh, what you call order this. We start from the last. We la we always start from the last parent. Now this is the last parent, this is the second last parent, this is the third last parent, this is the fourth last and this is the, uh, this is, I mean, this is the, par uh, this is the f parent that we're going to be dealing with first, second this, third this, fourth this, and then lastly this one, that root. So let's deal with this one. Well, we can see that the parent is greater, our criteria about max CPFI is fulfilled, so it's fine, 25 can be greater. Now let's move on to this one. Well, 13 is greater than 7 and 1, so this is also fulfilled. But here in this parent, we can see that this one is greater. This should be in that place. So we swap the positions of 6 and 15. So let's just swap. Six, uh, 15 will be here and 6 will be here. 6, 15. Now, and then we move on to this one. We can see that this parent is definitely not, uh, I mean, it's smaller than these two. So we have to swap whichever is the largest. 25 is the largest, so we swap 12 and 25. So let's swap. This, is, this will be 25 and this will be 12. 25, this is 12. All right, now we move on to the root node. We can see that nine is, uh, what you call, nine is smaller and nine has to be the largest because it's the root of the tree. So we swap 25 and nine because 25 is larger than all these three. So 20, here it will be 25, here it will be 9. So 25 and 9. All right, now we need to check again, I mean, which uh, if the tree is still uh, in a max CPFI format. We need to see that every parent has to be greater than its children. Now, when we move on to this one, we can see that this parent is uh, what you call smaller than this one. So we have to swap these. If you don't worry about the code, you can just follow the algorithm and write it in your code format. You can, uh, like, I mean, uh, when you write it in the code format, it, uh, when you see the algorithm, your, um, I mean, your all your doubts are going to be cleared. So anyway, we swap this, 12 and 19, because 19 is greater. So here it will be 19, here it will be 12. So 19 and 12. Now we check this, this is fine. This one is also fine. This one is not fine because 19 is the greatest, so 19 should be here. <clears throat> so it will just be 9 and this will be 19. All right, now I guess this tree is in a max CPFI format. Well, this one, the parent is greater. This one, the parent is greater. This one, the parent is greater. This one, the parent, okay. Okay, now again, we have to uh, swap with the last one because this one is 12. And this, uh, yeah, this one is 12 and this one is 9. So we have to swap this, 9 and 12.
12 and 9. Okay, let me just erase this one because this looks really bad. It will be 6. All right, so this is in a <clears throat> Max CP5 format, I presume. Yep, yeah. So this is in a Max CP5 format, it's sorted. Now we can just place this in the array. But uh, we are doing heap sort algorithm here. Now what is the heap sort algorithm? Let's look at this. First, what do you do? You just, you, uh, you build the max heap, which we did right now. We built the max heap. And then for from i equals length of a <clears throat> down to 2, that means from the length of a as in the last uh, index, I mean the last element, down to 2, not the root, the second one. Uh, exchange a1 and ai and then heap size and then decrease the heap size and then again max cp5 with the existing heap size. You'll know after I put this in the array. Let's put all the stuff in the array. 25, 19, 15, uh, 13, 12, 4, 6, 7, 1, 3, 9. Now, according to the algorithm, to uh, sort this in a uh, sort this in ascending and descending format, uh, what we do is we first we first <clears throat> uh, like go from the counter from the last so start going from the counter from the last two down to two, and then we exchange a one and a i. So a i is the last one, and this one is a one. So we exchange this and this. And then what happens? We decrease the size. We decrease the heap size. So then this element will be cancelled. The, the whole heap size will be up to this. So let's start doing it. We first swap A1 and AI. So 25 and 9 would be swapped. 25 and 9. All right. So this will be 9. This will be 25. All right. And then this one, what happens? This uh, Now the heap size will be from this. Right, this will be cancelled. Now, we what we do? What do we do with this number? Now, it depends. If you want to uh, sort in an ascending format, you put you put it in the array in such a way that it's uh, what you call it, it's in the last box. And if you want to if you want to sort in the descending format, then you put it in the first first uh, slot of the array. Let's just put it in the first slot. I mean, there's this misconception that people has is that uh, you can like for max CP5 we. And do ascending or descending. I mean, for max heap and mean heap, I mean, both are used for one of them. One is for ascending order and one is for descending order. Like max heap, usually people think that it's for, uh, what you call it, the descending order and mean heap is for ascending order. That's like a wrong conception. You can use max and mean heap both uh, for you for uh, sorting the array into ascending or descending order. It just depends upon how you place it in the array. If you want to place it in the first slot, then it will be descending order because this is the maximum element, right? Since so this is the maximum order, so this will be this will be in the, if this is in the first slot, then it, it's going into descending order. But if you put it in the last slot, it will be going into an ascending order. Anyway, now we continue with this array. Now, what do we do? This the, this uh, algorithm states that now you have to max CPFI with the existing array. So with this, now you just max CPFI. If this and this is uh, swapped, I'm just going to show a few examples, not all. 25 and 9 was swapped. So this will this will be 25 and this will be 9. So this is 9 and this is 25. I'm sorry about the sound pollution that's going on. Um, all right. So this will be 25 and this will be 9. And this one is gone, right? So now we're going to be putting, making a max heap uh, with this existing tree. Now I just have to keep swapping. Now let's swap 9 and 19. 9 and 19. 19 and it's 9 and now we have to check again if uh, the parent is bigger well 9 and 13 we need to swap uh, 12 3 is fine 9 and 13 we swap so 13 and 9 13 9 <clears throat> uh, well the parents are bigger so it's fine now, again, what we do now, since we max CPFI again, well, the loop still continues, right? So now we swap again A1 and AI because the, now the size is still this, right? So now we, first we have to arrange this. Well, what's changed? This is 19 and the third position is 13. The third position has 13 and 15, fine. 
and the fourth position has nine. Fourth position has nine. All right. So, and other things are the same as usual. So again, what do we do? We swap 19 and three. So let's swap three and 19. This will be three here and this will be 19 here. So three and 19. And then again, we say decrease the heap size minus one by minus one. And then we use this and put this in these, this new array. So this, this will contain the maximum numbers. So as we're going to descending order, like I said, you, uh, it's your wish if you want to arrange it into descending order or, an, uh, or ascending order. You just have to modify your code in such a way, uh, uh, whichever way you want to sort it into. All right, and again, we do the same thing. Now, since this is the existing size, we, uh, we do max cpify on this array again and then get the swap the a1 and ai position and then we uh, we again put this in this array here uh what you call it? put the i mean after we swap we decrease the size again and then this whatever we get here we put this in this array and this goes on and the final answer will be one i mean the final uh final uh, what you call arrangement will be since we're doing in descending order it will be 25 19 15 13 12 9 7 6 4 3 1 so that will be the answer so yeah that was all about heap sort algorithm that's how the sorting goes uh, uh, you just have to write this in the code format in whatever language you use java c c, c sharp c plus plus whatever you use just convert this whole algorithm into a code format and then you'll get uh, you you'll you get the heap sort code anyway so the the analysis for the worst case analysis for this is a uh, order of n log n that's because the loop goes traverses up to n i mean uh, yeah the loop traverses uh, till n n times and then uh, the max simplify function is log n now why is it log n Whenever there is this recursive type of call, it's usually log n. Why is it LGN though? I mean, why is it LGN not log something something n? That's because the, uh, it has two children. So whatever is uh, the whatever however number of uh, divisions you make, uh, this will be standing here. This will be uh, placed here. So if it was made, made into three three uh, what you call it, if it had three children for each a parent then it will then the it will be order of log n log 3n and since lg means log base 2 so that's why we wrote log n and since the loop is uh, traversing n times so for uh, we always multiply whatever is with uh, the the complexity of the for loop with whatever is inside the for loop so n into log n would give you n log n all right so this is the complexity of heap heap sort algorithm and also one thing you should know is that whenever you're uh, like uh, whenever using this heap type of stuff uh, you need to remember that whenever you're making a tree it has to be a complete tree i mean whenever there's a question given and the tree is like this i mean the tree is like this uh, like incomplete type like it has one children here but it doesn't have the other children here it has one children here but it doesn't have the other children here this is not a complete tree why because if you place all these things in an array what happens is you'll find this this slot empty and this slot empty this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 11th slot is empty 12 and then 13 slot is empty so this is not a complete binary tree again this one uh, it's fine. This one is a complete binary tree because all the children are in a fine position. Even this one is not a complete binary tree because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slot is uh, empty and nine, eight, nine slot is empty and ten, eleven slot is filled. So you can't have this kind of slots empty. So that makes that uh, a, in, an incomplete tree. Uh, I mean, it's almost complete because you know these slots are empty. So that, yeah, that makes it incomplete. Anyway, so that was it. Uh, that was it for the heap sort algorithm i hope you understood the from the tutorial it's been a long time since i made algorithm tutorials well uh, please like and subscribe if you want more tutorials and good luck